Okay, so uh, there are some mentions of Mark, and uh, I will talk about Mark, but uh, my message is is uh, know your data. That's that's simple. Uh, so I will I will uh, describe how I measure the quality of of uh, Mark catalogs, but um, these methods uh, are not restricted to mark uh, the important thing is that you should uh, find the problems of your data and you should fix either in mark or the x which came after the mark uh, word which might be b frame or something else uh, yeah mark was invented by uh, harriet uh, avram the lady uh, there and there's uh, manual, a mark manual there, so it's not the beginning uh, mark was invented in, well, the, the thinking about mark, which was not uh, named mark at that time, uh, at the late uh, 15 uh, started and the implementation started in the 60s. So, uh, I made a tool uh, which which measures the, the uh, quality or, or finds the issues uh, with Mark and it's independent tool. Uh, it works with, with a, a dump and the ideal workflow would be something that, that uh, the tool creates some reports and catalogers or other um, uh, data experts should evaluate the reports and uh, decide how to action uh, based on that and improve the record in the catalog or uh, data repository. Uh, the important thing is, uh, and what is, is uh, different in, in this, this MARC tool and, and the open source MARC tool, I, I checked that uh, I tried to uh, bind a, a semantics uh, uh, of the, the individual data elements. So there's a mark record and and uh, it contains a pair of values and definitions and the definitions uh, uh, is a data model where uh, i get the mark manual and try to translate it into java codes um, but this uh, uh, data model can be exported so uh, with uh, Jakob, uh, uh, we suggested a, a format called Avram JSON, and uh, uh, this is a, a JSON schema which contains uh, this knowledge. And also uh, Jakob uh, is working on on, on Pika uh, export to to Avram, uh, and. <coughs> If you have this this format, you can uh, use it uh, with any other different uh, programming language. Yeah, so the the, the measurement works in in a, a command line right now, which produce a CSV file, and I have created a, a lightweight um, web UI, and I will uh, show you how it works. But um, in a preliminary uh, research paper I published uh, tables like this uh, for me it was it was a little bit surprising um, this this table shows the the uh, percentage of records in different catalogs I checked uh, 16 uh, more or less freely available uh, uh, catalogs and I found that uh, even the Library of Congress records uh, contains many issues, uh, issues which can be easily uh, catched. So 13% um, of the Library of Congress records contains some, some issues. Uh, one of the, the 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 problems I found uh, is that that uh, we have this uh, nice uh, Mark 21 uh, standard, but there are lots of uh, 
localized versions like OCRC Mark or FinMark or Hungarian Mark and so forth. Uh, and also Mark uh, allows the libraries to define their own uh, fields. However, libraries very rarely uh, uh, publish their definitions of these fields, so it works to, to uh, uh, make a distinction between uh, uh, the errors found in uh, defined fields, which are available in, in any uh, published version of uh, Mark, and in the undefined fields, we cannot decide whether it is an issue or not because we don't know the rules. So, if you are in a situation that that your library has a, a, a own defined fields, I would like to ask you please document it properly and make it available for researchers like me. Okay, so uh, I will show you some uh, screenshots. So these are the uh, uh, issue types, uh, or some of the issue types, and uh, the tool uh, tries to catch uh, these issues. Uh, it's uh, categorized in a hierarchy uh, based on where the issues are found. Here are the, the list of individual uh, uh, problems in one category, so it's the control subfields. Uh, the control fields usually are positional, so in the uh, fifth position, the fifth character uh, of the uh, uh, 008, for example, should contain a given uh, uh, code, and if it's not contained according to the standard, it's an issue. And uh, the user interface shows you the, the, the problems which uh, uh, character is not uh, uh, correct and uh, provides also the, the URL of the part of the standard and you can uh, check which uh, values should be there and how many uh, records has this problem and uh, uh, how many occurrences within each uh, records. And also, uh, I've created a, a kind of discovery interface for that, so uh, you can check which record contains these issues, and you can find uh, how to fix it. So, next block is the the uh, completeness. It it uh, measures uh, which fields are available and which. Um, subfields and so forth are available. <coughs> the mark uh, categorize uh, the fields, so there's uh, uh, numbers and code, made entry, title and so forth. And also I uh, 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 made a category for the this extensions or, or versions, uh, whatever it's. Uh, for me the terminology is, is not very clear how we should call uh, OCRC mark or Fendica mark. Uh, this is the the, the subfield list. Um, uh, you can easily uh, see that that, uh, for example, this uh, 015 national bibliography number has uh, lots of subfields. Those subfields which doesn't have any uh, title are not part of the, the standard. So they are either uh, locally defined, so for example, this, this big A, uh, either locally defined or this just a typo. And uh, for, for each uh, subfields and each data element, uh, I sh provide some statistics and uh, some uh, 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 bar chart to see the, the, the occurrence. And also there's a, a, a term list. So for each field you can, you can uh, launch a faceted search and check what kind of uh, values are there in the field. Uh, the fields are not equally important and, and uh, each field or not each field, but but mark record has has uh, several uh, functions, so uh, there's uh, less discussion that 
FRBR, the first two letters uh, uh, are about functions. And uh, in this, this conference as well, there were lots of discussions and uh, uh, mentioning of this uh, work expression manifestation uh, model, but we don't talk almost uh, never uh, about the functions. And um, one of the, the, the documents of the, the uh, FRBR document family uh, concentrates on the, the, the functions. They defined uh, 12 uh, functions like searching, identifying, selection, and so forth. And the uh, uh, Library of Congress produced an Excel file which maps uh, individual mark elements, uh, not, not uh, every element, but um, more than 2,000, uh, which uh, functions they are supported. So it's, it's a kind of uh, uh, weighted uh, completeness. Um, and it's uh, quite uh, easy to, to, to figure it out, uh, which uh, functions are supported by uh, the catalogs. So we can see here that restrict are tends to the left uh, uh, size of the, the the block. So it means that that uh, most fields, which um, ideally would support uh, the restrict uh, function, is missing from the catalog. Uh, another um, analysis is is whether or not. Uh, the records supports uh, classification, so they, whether they have uh, uh, classification and subject indexing. So uh, Mark has about uh, 10 uh, fields. Some fields are not very clear whether they are clearly classifications or, or something else because uh, um, for example, the Library of Congress call numbers can be used as classification, but also as a, a storage unit. But uh, in this this uh, library, but by the way, uh, these uh, screenshots came from uh, six different libraries, so uh, I, I don't uh, tell you which one this is. It's not important that uh, we can uh, check the particular li library, but this uh, library uh, uh, has quite a number of uh, subject headings, so uh, almost uh, uh, three fourths of the the uh, records has some uh, classifications, and uh, we can see a histogram here that uh, uh, well, it's, uh, 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 two hundred thousand uh, records doesn't have any classifications, and the rest has either one, two, or even more. The best one, or the most frequent one, is is uh, 62. In this uh, chart, so there are 62 uh, subjects uh, attached uh, to a single uh, record. We can check the the individual uh, classification fields. So uh, there are. This, in this case, uh, Dewey additional Dewey other classification numbers, and within the uh, each uh, classification, uh, the the classification scheme uh, uh, can be defined. It's not always true, but uh, yeah, if if it is, then we can see that that in this particular library the. Uh, systematic Deutsche National Bibliography uh, classification scheme is the uh, most frequently uh, used in this field, at least. We can check the details, uh, but if we go uh, down, we can see that there are some uh, classification which, which we know only the abbreviation. So uh, the the mark standards provides uh, a mapping of abbreviations and known uh, classification schemes uh, where we see the abbreviations only that that means that that uh, the it is not part of the the mark 21 uh, standard by the way i don't know how this this uh, list is uh, maintained and updated by the <coughs> library of congress so 
So, yeah, they might be good or bad, but but if we see a dollar sign in in one classification, it it is probably an issue. Uh, within the classification, we can we can see that that uh, which uh, subfields uh, they are used. And also, we can we can uh, run a search uh, on it. And the important thing is that we can check the individual terms uh, of uh, each classifications. And uh, yeah, uh, my next research uh, step or, or plan is to uh, cooperate with with the Colicon and and Bato projects uh, uh, to validate these terms. Um, because they they uh, made tools to evaluate and provide information about uh, individual vocabularies. Uh, the same is is for uh, authority names, and uh, there are another um, weighting scheme or a class of uh, weighting schemes uh, published in in, in articles. Uh, this one is is provided by uh, Kelly Thompson and uh, Stacey Trail, by the way, in, in the Code for, Code for Lib Journal, two years ago. Um, their situation was that that uh, the library uh, bought ebooks from different vendors, and each vendors provide a, a mark uh, catalog uh, entry, and they don't want to to keep all the three or four they would like to pick the best one so they they uh, come up with a, a scoring scheme so if the the uh, record has an IS, has an isbn number they get one point if there is more than uh, even more points uh, they check the author alternative titles and so forth so this this bar chart is uh, the result of this this uh, uh, scoring scheme uh, we can check the individual components. Uh, we can easily check the the outlier. So if uh, one record has 84 uh, ISBN number, it's probably uh, wrong, but it, it it requires some human expert. Maybe it's it's totally fine. Just uh, a strange uh, publication. Yeah, and. Uh, uh, this is uh, about my my next plan. So uh, uh, I mentioned that that I would like to concentrate on on the the classifications. Uh, there are many different uh, classification uh, types, like uh, thesaurus, ontologies, and so forth. They have a different kind of relationship uh, between the 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 nodes and. Yeah, based on 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 this information, we can we can check whether the uh, library pro, uh, uses the the best uh, uh, classification or, or uh, classification tree, tesauri, whatever. And another uh, interesting question that that whether the terms came from the the top of this uh, tree like like uh, this one so they are general uh, terms or they are come from the depth so they are very uh, specific so that was my uh, uh, talk and um, i would like to thank to many different people some of them are uh, here at the conference uh, the tool is is open source uh, available there's a, a, a paper and you can find the the avram uh, specification here as well thanks a lot thank you very much uh, are there any comments or questions from the audience to this talk Thanks for your presentation, it's very interesting. And uh, the question is, um, uh, you are doing uh, this uh, uh, deeply analysis on Mark 21 to, to mm, detect, to uh, modify, to correct uh, something, but uh, uh, do you think to provide uh, the way to come back to library this analysis uh, so that the library can uh, have this correction into their uh, 
uh, original system or is uh, only thought for uh, published data? Uh, my my uh, uh, purpose is that that libraries should improve their the records if there's an improvement place there. So I, I try to collaborate with different libraries and um, somehow uh, make uh, this tool part of their uh, workflow. Yeah. So and and I I would like to collaborate uh, with more libraries. So if you are interested, then please uh, get in touch. Other questions or comments? Um, do you handle only Mark Twenty One? Or uh, is your tool able to uh, work on Unimark files? Uh, right now, it's it's Mark Twenty One, but yeah, <laughs> we would like to collaborate with you. So, <laughs> yeah, I would like to to uh, extend to Mark uh, Unimark and other uh, kind of Mark. Yeah. Still, uh, I think we would have time for one more. I would like to ask a question because I've also worked on, on some quality analysis tools for um, uh, SCOS vocabularies and uh, um, I'm wondering if any of, uh, how, how many of these problem types are such that you would already know that, that what the correct uh, I mean, what, what the solution is, like you could do an automated correction on the original record. Uh, instead of just showing it as a report, you could already do the uh, fix and output the, the, the corrected record. Is it like a 10% or 50% or how, how many of them require human uh, intervention? Yeah, I, I, I'm not a cataloger, so uh, I would like to work more with catalogers to answer this question. So. Right now, I cannot, cannot uh, estimate any numbers. Okay, thank you.